What's up YouTube? Jail Folks here coming at you from Nashville, Tennessee. So sorry I haven't posted any content lately. I've been on the road touring with a band out of Maryland uh, for the last month and a half and also touring with my band as well. But uh, speaking of touring, I picked up this pretty awesome Gibson SG while on my last tour up in Greenville, South Carolina. Stopped by a guitar center wanting to look at a 61 reissue Gibson SG and kind of fell in love with the 2021 standard. Pretty awesome guitar, I must say. So Gibson has come a long way since the last time I purchased one. And I gotta say, I've owned several Gibsons over the years. I've owned a Gibson SG Special. It had moon inlays. It was kind of a rare guitar. It was pretty cool, but ended up selling that. It didn't have the sound I was looking for or the feel. And then I also had another SG Standard which was different from this one. It was ebony and it was a satin finish and it had the small pit guard, which I don't think it was exactly like the same specs as this guitar because this SG standard is a lot nicer than the one I used to own and the other one I sold. But I gotta say, I fell in love with this guitar in a guitar center and ended up leaving because I was really wanting the 61 reissue. Then I watched a bunch of videos on this guitar and actually, was really digging it when I was playing it so I ended up going back to Guitar Center and purchasing this and I'm so glad I did because the end of the tour I ended up playing only this guitar because I just couldn't put it down it's just really great with my trio I really love how bright the neck pickup is and that's something you don't get like out of a Les Paul or like a 335 um, there's something about the uh, mid-range and the uh, the brightness of the neck pickup which I really like on SG and everything just sounds really great with this guitar it plays really great as well it's got a fatter neck which I'm not completely used to but I'm really digging it I think a lot of the uh, the feel is in the neck and a lot of the tone is in the neck as well and it's a very light guitar and I gotta say it's very resonant too For some reason this SG is super resonant and it just sounds really great. I love the way it plays, the way it looks. I love the cherry. That's something I've always kind of dug. I've always wanted a good SG ever since I started playing guitar. I think uh, seeing Jack Black with the awesome SG and Angus Young and Dweezil Zappa, all those guys, man, I just always wanted a SG and Derek Trucks as well. And I think something I'm going to start exploring more is slide guitar, and I think SG is great for that as well because you can get all the way up the frets. It's just got an awesome tone for slide. But I got to say, I'm really digging the 2021 uh, Gibson guitars. I mean, this is by far the best new Gibson I've probably ever played. And I think that's why it was kind of an impulse buy. It's something about it. It just looks really great. All the wood grain looks really great. The neck plays and feels really great. It's just, I don't, I can't find one blemish in this guitar. It's pretty dang perfect, if you ask me. And uh, it comes with Grover tuners, which is pretty cool. Another thing to talk about are the pickups. These are the 490 pickups, so these are some of the more modern pickups. And that was one of the uh, deal breakers for me at first because I wanted the Burst Bucker pickups because they got more of a vintage sound. But these pickups really grew on me, and I think it's because they're low output, and I'm able to crank up my Fender amp much further than pretty much any other guitar without completely breaking up. So the sound of these pickups, I'm really digging, especially with my trio and being able to crank the amp louder and not having to turn down as much. But just a really awesome guitar. I gotta say, uh, Gibson's come a long way, and I'm really happy to see in the, see the direction that they're going. And an SG is something that I can't get from Heritage Guitars. I mean, I'd rather play a Heritage H150 because that's kind of my go-to Les Paul style guitar. But an SG's got its own sound, and it's definitely one I wanted to add to the guitar collection for a long time. So one thing that's cool about these 2020-2021 Gibsons is they come with these pretty sweet gig bags. This is a leather gig bag, and i got to say it's really nice. I'd rather take this over a hard shell case any day. And uh, it's got tons of padding in there, kind of like a mono case. But I don't know if I would trust it completely for flying, but it's definitely a good gigging case. 
tons of padding in there. So that was definitely a cool bonus that came with this guitar. But there were some also some other cool things that came with this guitar as well. Here you have the uh, owner's manual here, and I think it's got a truss rod thing in there, truss rod tool. Uh, it comes with a strap, and then it also comes with a picture of the guitar from the, the workbench at the factory. I thought that was a pretty cool feature to have with this guitar. I've never seen that before. And here we have the Gibson Quality Checklist, which is pretty awesome, and I think this is a new thing that Gibson started doing because they had a big problem with their quality control and I guess the new CEO has been uh, kind of redoing the company in some ways so this is pretty awesome but here you have all the different things checked off the list and at the bottom here you have the date that the guitar was made and this was made June 1st 2021 which is pretty cool because it's not even August yet this guitar is just a little bit over a month old which is pretty awesome when I got it it was just barely over a month old. It's got the serial number. It's even got a, a signature by whoever inspected it and whoever packed the guitar as well. So that was a pretty cool feature that uh, came along with this guitar. So anyways, that's my 2021 Gibson SG Standard. Totally digging this guitar. Really glad I bought it. I wasn't too sure at first and was kind of taking a gamble with Gibson. I don't really purchase many Gibsons anymore. I'm more of a heritage guy. But... You know, Gibson SG is something that Heritage doesn't make, and they got their own unique sound. I mean, they're very historic, and I just love them. I love a Gibson SG. I love how lightweight they are. It's just a great guitar to have in the arsenal, and I can't wait to just play this thing live and record with it and make videos for you guys. So, anyways, thanks for watching the video. Do I think you should buy a 2021 Gibson? I would say yes. They've come a long way. This thing is pretty immaculate. I couldn't imagine a better SG standard. It's pretty dang perfect if you ask me. But uh, anyways, thanks for watching the video. Like, share, and subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace!